gold prices has gone up significantly during this lockdown. But you probably already know that. What you might not know is how that is related to Tinder. I will tell you in this video. Hi, I am Api. Welcome to Tennis Studios, where you can find anything and everything. Let's get started. During this lockdown, we are all stuck at our home. We are not allowed to go out, or rather should I say, we shouldn't go out during this lockdown. Practically, our social life has gone for a toss. But we humans are a social animal. We cannot live without interacting with people. And hence, we are now more inclined to online social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Tinder. Right, talking about Tinder, I'm sure most of you are aware of that app, but for the very few who doesn't have much idea regarding this Tinder, let me give you a very brief introduction. Tinder is a very famous dating app available in iOS and Android platform. Here you can meet various people from all around the world and of course nearby to your location as well. Here if you like someone, you have to right swipe the person's picture and to dislike, simply swipe left. Account creation is free, but to access more premium features like chatting to a particular person, you have to pay a price. But there is a catch. If you like someone in Tinder and that particular person likes you back, then you can chat with that person without having to pay for the premium. Enough of Tinder. Remember, I told you this video is all about the hike in price of gold and how that is related to Tinder. Let's get started on that. Before this lockdown, the price of gold was around Rs. 38,000 for 10 grams of 24 karat gold. And now, it's the mid of July. The price of gold has gone up to almost Rs. 51,000 and is still going up. So, in simple terms, it's a good time to invest in gold. Now, taking this opportunity of investment in gold, some people are trying to be rich by cheating through Tinder. Let me explain how. There are some female profiles in Tinder, or at least their profile picture says so. They claim that they are from Malaysia, in places like Singapore. If you look at their profile, then you will find that the profile pictures and the photos are very beautiful and attractive. In other words, if you come across to their profile, most likely you will like them and give them a right swipe. After some time, you will find that the beautiful girl from Tinder has liked you back. Remember? I told you that if both people like each other in Tinder, then you can chat with each other without having to pay for the premium price. Now, since both of you have liked each other, so now you can interact and chat with each other through the Tinder chat app. After taking, uh, talking for some time or a couple of days, the beautiful girl from Tinder will say that talking in Tinder is not that fast or not that good. So if you could share your WhatsApp number, then we can continue this chat in WhatsApp. Now, when a beautiful girl herself asks for your WhatsApp number, it's kind of hard to deny that and you end up sharing your WhatsApp number. After a while, you will find that you got a new message in your WhatsApp and that will be from that beautiful girl from Tinder. For a day or two, she will talk with you like she is very much interested in you. She will introduce herself as a financial consultant or financial analyst in a very big farm and will say that she visits India very often for work. She might even send you a friend request from Facebook profile where you will find that the most of her friends are from India. She will also, uh, she will also ask you about your job, your hobbies, your places where you have been outside India or what kind of car or bike you own. It seems like a normal chat but in reality she will try to get an idea about your financial status. She will make you feel comfortable with her and when she feels that you got a, she got a hold of you, she will slowly start talking how investment in gold these days is very profitable. Remember, she introduced herself as a financial consultant or financial analyst in a very big firm. She might even share some data with you about how some of her clients have made a huge profit by investing in gold. That way, she will try to convince you to invest too. Later. She will offer you that if you invest such and such amount, she will make sure personally that within a very small span of time, you are guaranteed to profit at least this much amount. 
she will finally share a link with you to register yourself so that you can start investing. She will even share some details with uh, information about Indian banks that are associated with them so that you are more convinced. In short, since from the very beginning of the conversation, she will try to make sure of two things. First, one is to the get an idea of your financial status so that she can have some idea about how much you can invest. Secondly, she will make sure that you understand and trust her and she is a legit person who works for a very big and reputed financial firm. Remember, she even sent you a friend request from her Facebook profile where you found that most of her friends are from India. That was just to make you feel that she has many friends from India who trust her. It's just to give you a little push towards trusting her. Let me share with you a screenshot of how usually the pages look when, uh, when you click on that link shared by that beautiful girl from Tinder. Here we'll have to fill up some of your details like name, phone number, etc. What is important to look at is the link of the website that opens up and the pre-filled referral code which you cannot change. Now, the next picture is the screenshot of the details uh, required when you try to register yourself from the original website. Here you too have to fill up some details of yours like uh, name, phone number, etc. But check, but check the link of the website and there is no client code or referral code. The whole page looks different. Let me show you both the screenshots side by side so that you can have a good look and compare them yourself. Anyways, if unfortunately you end up filling up the registration form sent by the beautiful girl from Tinder and invest some amount. You will surely get a receipt of that, which will be a fake one of course, but that receipt will at least make you feel that you did invest it in gold, whereas in reality, your money is gone forever and so that that beautiful girl from Tinder. I'm not saying that investing in gold or, or such is a bad idea or anything, but the medium through which you invest is very important. The best way is to either visit an office or visit the original website and from there register yourself. There are a lot of fakes in this world and one has to be very careful these days. You can't help that. Here, I am sharing a screenshot where you can see that the details of such fake Tinder profiles has been highlighted and is believed to be Chinese frauds. In this world, we have to be very careful in every way. We never know who is planning you know, who is planning a master plan to rob us or say to hurt us. Thanks for watching this video. If you find anything you like, please do consider subscribing my channel and hit the like button to show your appreciation. Please do share this video and help others save them from this kind of frauds. We'll meet again with a new video. Till then, take care and be safe. Bye-bye.